Hey, so I just wanted to give a quick announcement for those who haven't seen the announcements that I made in other places, that I released a, another audiobook. So this is the second one that I've narrated. It's The Twilight of Civilization by Jacques Maritain. And what's neat about it for me is that it kind of takes you back to this, like, I don't know, this specific moment in time in 1939 when he first, like, he, the book began as a lecture, you know, and then it was like later it was translated and it was uh, made into a book. But it, it takes you into that place in 1939 with this uh, philosopher and one might say theologian um, who's sort of like exploring the issues of the time because there were so many intellectuals, uh, you know, right then who were thinking about like why why are we like you know in a second world war and why is it that the west is basically crumbling and how do we prevent this from happening again and how do we change the cultural landscape so that this doesn't happen because i mean there was a pretty widespread understanding that there was a spiritual impoverishment that was already in place you might say and i think that it's kind of weird for us to look at because we look at the world around us now and we think of it as being uh, on on a sort of secular slope right that that everyone in, in front of us was like way more religious than you have like the, the, the constant declining uh, rate of religiosity but i mean even when you look back then in the late 1930s as we're talking about they were already talking about the the sort of decay of religious faith i mean because you also have the faith on the personal level and on the you might call it like the, the acted out level uh for want of a better term like, like the do you actually believe in the faith versus um are you just going through the motions are you just going to the church on sunday because that's what your parents or your grandparents did and so on the understanding was that by the the late 1930s and 1940s that actually the the faith, the actual belief that people had was rather impoverished, that they didn't actually have the actual faith, even though they still had a lot of the mannerisms. The the mannerisms, the church attendance and so on, have obviously been on, on a pretty steady decline since then. And there's a lot that I want to explore in terms of like why that happened. And I obviously have a lot of thoughts, but um, World War II, however you look at it, became a, a sort of, I don't know, a year zero moment for the West in which a lot was changed. A lot was changed in terms of the church and what was theologically uh, put forth. What was A lot was changed you know, culturally on the social levels. We, we really did move towards uh, eradicating a lot of our prior notions to try and essentially prevent culturally um, an, another major war from happening. I think a lot of what was changed was changed for the worse. Like, I, I honestly think that we became worse as a result of trying to avoid um, a, a World War Three, And that has, it has consequences for us today in collective outlook and in our desire to be, quote, open-minded instead of just simply to search for the truth. Things like that, I think, came out of that era of, well, we can't be so close because being closed leads to things, you know, like Nazism and so on. And so it really did, there was this massive shift with um, Karl Popper and the openness consensus, all of this. But anyway, I'm not trying to get too too far off into random spots, but this, it kind of, this was one of the books that I read in the studying of this topic. And I think that I'd like to um, put out my own book at some point. Um, but in any case, I think that this sort of like gives you that that little insight. So I narrated it because it's in the public domain, and so that I think it's kind of fun. I find I find narrating audiobooks to be oddly relaxing, even though it's like time consuming and at times it can be a bit dry. Uh, but there's something just sort of like relaxing. So I like, I like to do it during my downtime when I I'm not really up for writing an actual article of my own or narrating. This is narrating actually producing a video. And so on. So anyway, it's freely available to you. I'm not charging, it's public domain. Um, obviously, if you do enjoy it, would appreciate a don donation, but there's nothing nothing required. Um, it's there for you. You can either like I put it as a player on my site, but there's also a way to download the MP3s to put on your devices if you do that way, or just to grab the XML file and put it inside of a podcast reader of your choice if you've got one of those apps. Um, do whatever you like with it. Enjoy. I hope it helps. All right, bye.